Thanks a lot, Susan. Recovery operations have concluded in Taiwan for a Trans-Asia plane that crashed this week. 48 bodies were pulled out from the wreckage and more than two-thirds of the victims have been identified. However, their families still demand answers. CCTV's Barnaby, Barnaby Lowe reports from Penghu Island. These are the faces of the tragedy. 48 lives lost when Trans-Asia Airways flight GE-222 crashed into a village in Taiwan's Penghu County Wednesday night. Their families, shocked and devastated, gathered at this local funeral hall to pay their last respects unwillingly. It broke my heart when I looked at my son's picture being placed here. My beloved son was burned in the fire after the plane crashed. Can you understand what I've been suffering? I've lost my beloved son. This is an unpredictable tragedy, said Pan Vincent Lin, chairman of TransAsia Airways, as he personally conveyed his condolences to the families of the victims and vowed to keep providing them support. None of it was enough to take away their anger. Bring my son's life back. But that wasn't something Lin or anyone else could promise. What the government had pledged was a swift and thorough investigation into what caused the incident. We will download the data from the black boxes. We'll then check its integrity and authenticity. We know there are two boxes recording different kinds of data. We'll analyze the data and then synchronize and confirm them. For now, all fingers point to stormy weather as the likely cause of the crash. Officials insist, however, that all indications were that it was safe to fly.